To me, uh, financial independence should be a relaxation of that sort of paranoia and anxiety, right? Like, to me, financial independence is getting to a point where I don't have to think particularly hard about money. Um, and so, let's say I'm in a hotel room, my hotel room where I'm staying, there's like a water bottle on the table, it's six dollars. Um, it'd be cheaper to walk downstairs and get a water bottle for a dollar from a, you know, whatever, a drink out of a, drink out of the sink, you know, but, uh, I, what I what I have to think about is that we we only have a finite amount of time, a finite amount of energy. The whole point of this financial independence was to create more time for my writing, for my work, for spending. Time. So, I see people burning immense amounts of energy uh, and time, trying to squeeze more dollars out of things, or to live at a lower sort of dollar amount. And to me, the danger is what productive end could that have been directed. I could die tomorrow. Am I gonna be glad that I saved $5 on a water bottle? Or am I gonna be glad that I spent the $6 and I spent that time doing something that made me happy or I spent that time with my family or whatever. So people spend a lot of time trying to, you're, you're saving money, but you're losing time. And you're also feeling an immense amount of tension and pressure because of this sort of standard you put on yourself that I can't waste money, I have to be very frugal, I don't, you know. And so to me, that that cost is, is often too high to bear. No, the water, I mean, I, I didn't buy the $6 bottle of water because that is absurd. But my, my point is, I would suspect one would have to work quite hard to live on $12,000 a year, where one might actually be able to work less hard making more money and then being able to live on that money. So that that's the fundamental tension and I think you know, it's, it's like you can attack the problem from two ends. You can make more money, you can spend less money. I don't, I don't think you would ever focus only on one end of that equation. You would address both variables. And so to me, it's a, it's a balance, right? Um, if I buy a $5 million house, I'm gonna feel a lot of pressure to write a lot of books. And some of those books aren't gonna be good. So that's taking me further away from where I wanna go. But if I am, spending my Saturdays, you know, shopping for clothes at garage sales um, instead of just buying the t-shirt that I like. That's time that I didn't spend reading a book or experiencing something that's going to fuel my creativity or just enjoying the fruits of my, my work.